how the municipality makes its money, I think that's where we need to start. Because the municipality, we will say to you our budget is two billion. You can go to the bank at any given point, there won't be the two billion sitting there. And then we say, yeah, we start in the year now, there's two billion, let's go. So what we do is that the community pays through the rates and taxes. So it's important that we understand as a municipality that whatever amount of money we spend, we spend it correctly because then the community pays for it. So if you are not skilled in doing supply chain management and you do not do it within the prescribed framework, you will then find situations where there is irregular expenditure, fruitless and wasteful expenditure. Therefore, through GIZ assistance in making an assessment of the capability of a municipality, they then give us a report to say, this is what we have found in these municipalities that we have assessed, and these are the key challenges. And in, in that process, GIZ will also assist us in trying to provide an intervention mechanism like training that will need to be provided for those municipalities. ADM used to have a, a, a serious challenge in terms of supply chain. The trainings that we have undergone overall in, 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 in supply chain has assisted us in improving how we do things and how we perfect uh, our trade in terms of delivering the service to our people. And once the training has been developed, they also assist the relevant municipalities in developing their own policies. At least those municipalities, you have them as an example that can then be provided to other municipalities to do. Supply chain management, be it public sector or private sector, is not recognized as a discipline. And yet, it performs a critical role in supporting any institution. There isn't any strict qualifications. And there is absolutely no uniform standard of appointment. There isn't a uniform code of ethics. And you do not have to do anything to practice in that environment. And thus, the need to ensure that this entire discipline is professionalized. What makes professionalization matter for all South Africans is that all the goods and services that are bought within government are done through the supply chain management process. And now GIZ has seen this as one of its capacity, uh, as one of its function, its capacity building. And through supporting this function of professionalizing SCM, they have uh, supported us, National Treasury, in establishing a, an interim SCM council. Of course, a big part of procurement in South Africa is to offer an entry point for previously marginalized entrepreneurs into that space. Um, and if we look into that, talking about previously marginalized, females, of course, are a big part of that group. The idea of governance is to really serve the entire population. 50% of that population are women, or people who identify as women. Gender responsive procurement promotes equality most importantly, because in the past you would see that a whole lot of work goes to um, a certain kind of people, like males for instance. What we did in Amatole um, is for once we supported them on their procurement policy to include gender as a component of preferential procurement. And the second thing that we did jointly with UN Women um, was to train at female entrepreneurs on how to access those tenders. Another part of that was a big conference. So we wanted to have a dialogue between the municipality. We included national government as well, um, the people responsible for the update of the public procurement bill or the new public procurement bill, um, to really speak to those female entrepreneurs. 
The nice thing about this program, the gender procurement as well, is that remember, a district does not exist on its own. We, 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 we exist because of our local municipalities. So as, as, as we pull, we pull the entire six local municipalities with us. And that is improving and influencing their policy to be sensitive to gender issues. And we have seen a quite a, a lot of improvement in terms of that. We have, we've not only done that through the, the local municipalities that are, are represented in Amatole, but we also presented in, in um, uh, Salga, which is uh, the provincial municipalities. The collaboration with Jazat has got amazing benefits. You know, they say that when you do something alone, it becomes difficult. But when you come together, it becomes easy to achieve. And they, they are more or less an extension of our arm. We can go so far, but they are able to go where we are unable to reach.